Hello, my name is Akashi. I will present the work Food Printing with Electrolysis Bubbles for Texture Control. Recent technologies have made it possible for 3D printing to produce food with intricate shapes that are visually pleasing. There are also studies where the texture of 3D printed foods was controlled by modulating their intricate internal structure. However, in food printing, the printing resolution tends to be low, making it difficult to create fine internal structures. Meanwhile, we believe that making a fine foam-like pattern inside food would offer the advantage of creating a rich texture in the context of the food printing. Then, this research aims to make food texture controllable by selectively generating fine foam bubbles inside the food extruded during 3D food printing. Selective creation of food that includes foam is achieved through additive manufacturing by electrolyzing space like food. Computer-controlled electrolysis can generate bubbles at arbitrary moments during the extrusion process. In this research, as a first step, we propose a method for controlling the texture of gummy candy by creating bubbles in the gummy doll, which is a solid material suitable for electrolysis, while printing. In this method, electrolysis is performed at the nozzle through embedded extrudes. When the extrudes are injured during extrusion, electrolysis of water occurs, generating hydrogen and oxygen bubbles. Dog containing these bubbles is extruded from a heated extruder and then cooled at room temperature to gelatinize. It is finally layered, and the gummy that includes a foam structure can be created. To selectively generate foam in the printed object, a tactile switch was installed at the edge of the printer, and a control circuit was implemented to switch the energization when the extruder moved and each side pressed against the switch. To evaluate the possibility of creating distinctive textures when the gummy containing selective foam was chewed, we conducted first experiment test for each ratio of the number of forming layers to the total number of layers. The conditions for the percentage of layers containing foam to be investigated were 30%, 50%, and 70%. Results for non-formed and completely formed conditions were also compared. The resulting example of host experiment curves for each forming ratio in the bottom layers are shown here. Initially, the gum is in elastic compression and is in plastic deformation after it breaks at each strength. Beyond the repulsion point, the gum exhibits elasticity again. Regarding the breaking point, there are references for each condition. Overall, the more layers containing foam, smaller the breaking point, and the gummy becomes softer and easier to break. The repulsion point for gummies under almost all conditions differed by less than one newton from that of the gummy with that foam. We concluded that the foam structure increased the gummy's fastness, and that the ease of breaking could be controlled by adjusting the ratio between the number of foam layers and the total number of layers by maintaining the original gummy's electricity to some extent. Thank you for watching this.